Nubians of Jebel Barkal. In the northern reaches of Sudan, where the Nile bends and ancient kings once ruled, stands the sacred mountain of Jebel Barkal. For centuries, the Nubians whispered tales of its hidden chambers and the spirits that guarded them. Dr. Fatima, a renowned Sudanese archaeologist, arrived with her team to uncover the mountain's secrets. The local elders warned her of the mountain's power, speaking of the ancient Kushite warriors who swore an oath to protect the holy site even in death. Driven by academic ambition, Dr. Fatima dismissed their concerns as superstition. As the sun set, painting the sandstone cliffs in hues of gold and red, she ordered her team to break the seals of a hidden chamber. That night, as the team slept in their camp at the foot of the mountain, an unnatural wind arose. It whispered in the ancient, ancient Meroitic tongue, carrying with it the scent of myrrh and long-forgotten incense. The sand beneath their tents shifted, revealing glimpses of gilded armor and spear tips long buried. One by one, team members began to disappear in their place. The morning sun revealed shadowy silhouettes etched into the rocks, frozen in poses of terror. Dr. Fatima, realizing the gravity of her mistake, sought out the village elder. The old woman spoke of the guardians, warrior spirits bound by sacred oaths to Amunra, sworn to protect the mountain's whole relics from those who would disturb Derb them. As the wind grew stronger and the shadows longer, Dr. Fatima knew she had to make amends. With trembling hands, she gathered the sacred artifacts they had removed and made her way back to the chamber. There, in the fading light, she saw them. The spectral forms of Kushite warriors, their eyes gleaming with the fire of the afterlife. Dr. Fatima fell to her knees, offering the relics and begging forgiveness in the ancient Nubian tongue her grandmother had taught her. The spirits paused, listening. Then, as quickly as they had appeared, they vanished, taking the artifacts with them. The wind died down and the mountain fell silent. Dr. Fatima emerged from the chamber forever changed. She vowed to protect the mountain's secrets and to teach others to respect the ancient ways. From that day forward, locals say that sometimes on quiet nights, you can hear the distant clash of spectral spears. The guardians of Jebel Barkal, ever watchful, ever vigilant. The Curse of the 40 Days Road A group of tourists decides to travel the historic 40 Days Road through the Sahara. Their guide, Omar, warns them not.